Well, a very warm welcome to another vlog. And this time around, we've taken ourselves to Brittany in France. And our trip was almost scuppered at the last minute as the ferry from Rosslare to Cherbourg uh, was cancelled. Uh, now, uh, the night before, we booked another ferry, Brittany ferries from Cork to Roscoff. So the route I had planned from Cherbourg around to Mont Saint-Michel and onto the northern coast of the Brittany Peninsula as such um, is thrown out the window. So uh, when we uh, disembarked the boat at Roscoff this morning, we made our way here to the pink granite coast and the sun is, uh, is coming out really for the first time today. Um, but I've decided to take a daytime shot later in the afternoon of this wonderful lighthouse set amongst these uh, pink granite uh, rocks. They're not quite pink, but there's certainly a, a warm hue to them. And uh, I found a little spot down here amongst the rocks, a good bit away from the lighthouse, to use the water as the tide is coming in, crashing on the rocks there. Um, so I've taken the 15 stopper out uh, this time around at a four minute exposure. Um, that's an original 125th of a second. We'll give you a four minute exposure uh, with my 14 to 24 mil lens. I kind of use that as a, a rough guide. So over the next 10 days or so, uh, we're going to explore Brittany and some of its towns, uh, its valleys, its forests, and obviously its, its coastal uh, scenery, including a lot of lighthouses. Um, now this morning on the way from Roscoff there was a thick fog and obviously I was looking around for a tree here or there and we passed by a lovely avenue of trees that were just stunning, you know, I caught it out of the corner of my eye. So we turned the car around and parked up, had a cup of tea and I spent about half an hour or so uh, just photographing that little avenue of trees in the fog and I'll put that uh, image up there now. There's also a little orchard close by. Um, that really just, there was a lovely atmosphere in the orchard. Uh, I think it was an apple orchard. Some of the trees were in flower. but it was the mist and the wildflowers growing amongst the trees that really made it here. And uh, I've noticed that today. Um, I've noticed the wildflowers, the small sized fields, um, the uh, willingness of the authorities here to let wildflowers and weeds, um, for many of us would call them that, grow on the sides of the road. And they're just stunning here. Uh, just above me here, there's a, it's carpeted in uh, thyme. Uh, there's some bluebells here and there, um, bird's foot trefoil, there's orchids, uh, wild fennel, um, and it's just a, uh, a gift for the senses walking along the cliff. So um, I'll take, I'll turn my focus back to the lighthouse behind me, um, and I think I'm about four minutes up. I'm going to take that there. Well, that's, that's actually not bad at all. So, Lovely focus on the central uh, rocks down here. I'll just try to direct the video camera. So these rocks down here um, are surrounded by a light area of water. And that really is the focal point with the, uh, the lighthouse really playing second fiddle in the image. So I'll, I'll put that up there and uh, we'll move on to the next location.
but it's late afternoon now and we've left the pink granite coast and made our way to northern Fenestra and this stretch of coastline is uh, synonymous with shipwrecks and lighthouses so we found another lighthouse I hope this vlog isn't going to turn into a lighthouse tour of Brittany um, but this is a particularly beautiful one uh, again we have those large granite rocks around there um, the kind of reddish pink hue is gone now um, and it's more of a kind of grey brown uh, hue to the stones but still quite impressive the lighthouse here is surrounded by some foliage and um, it's a very simple scene I've learned a little lesson this afternoon um, because I took the 15 stop out again just to give it a little something different to this sunny sky and uh, I've taken the same composition with this large rock in front of me here uh, comprising a large portion of the frame and then the lighthouse just visible through the left hand side of the break in the rock but I put on the infrared uh, camera um, uh, the exact same composition and the exact same time four minutes a four minute exposure and it was just white after four minutes so I've learned a little lesson even with a 15 stop filter on um, all you need is a quarter of the time uh, for an infrared long exposure I was made very well aware of the infrared light capability from wearing a pair of sunglasses and vlogging in a previous vlog in Glendalough and no uh, sunglass was visible at all no glass was visible you could see my eye um, directly as if there was no glasses at all on me so it was a pretty strange phenomenon that is infrared light so I'll put those two photographs up just to compare them uh, an infrared uh, long exposure and a standard uh, color uh, long exposure and we'll move on to the next location on this tour of Brittany So unsurprisingly another lighthouse here in Brittany and uh, and I fear there may be two more before the day is out and I think this lighthouse is Kermavon Lighthouse and as you'll see uh, just here there's a beautiful little leading line all the way to the lighthouse a little walkway out of it and a few arches below it now it's not feasible to photograph the archways there's inaccessible rocks on either side as you also see it's another middle of the day shot so I'm going to replicate what I did yesterday um, now yesterday I didn't mention uh, in the last at the last lighthouse we paid a visit to Morlay uh, a town near uh, Roscoff and it's a beautiful town I took the infrared camera for a walk and took some architectural shots and it's a beautiful viaduct that crosses over the town there so I may uh, put one or two of those images up now for you to view The second lighthouse uh, that we visited today was a St. Matthew, Faraday St. Matthew. And it, it, initially, when you look at that lighthouse, it has a convent built right beside the lighthouse, or should I say, the lighthouse was built right beside a convent. And it's quite an impressive lighthouse. There are a number of um, f you know, photogenic um, or, or compositions to be had walking further away from it along the cliff. Um, but it's unusual in that the convent is right underneath it so my attention was drawn within the lighthouse the bright afternoon sun uh, casting shadows and highlights uh, within the walls of the convent and I thought they made the most interesting photographs um, so I underexposed greatly just exposing for those highlights giving a very gothic uh, dramatic look to some of the uh, kind of abstract images within the convent so.
bright sunny day, not really great for photography. Uh, Brittany apparently is known for its uh, rain and dramatic weather and dramatic seascape locations and I've certainly seen them but I haven't seen the dramatic weather to go along with them and uh, for some reason um, uh, quite often when I visit places like this I see this blue empty sky adding very little to the landscape and here I am again on a, on a day when a, a lighthouse like this, like this needs drama, needs a stormy sea um, and unfortunately I have uh, neither so I've resorted to the infrared camera uh, yet again and um, and it's given me a, a quite a pleasing image as the sun is it's late afternoon so the light is cast on the right hand side here of the lighthouse with the left hand side in nice shade so there's a nice little bit of contrast even with the shadow running along the uh, pathway um, so there is a little bit of contrast there in the light that's available so it works quite well the area around here and I'm standing I'll just scroll uh, or pan the camera around this is an old uh, German uh, World War II bunker here and the whole hillside is uh, the whole hillside is dotted with them so I'm kind of to get the uh, curve of the pathway I'm kind of jammed in up against the wall of this barricade and I need to be careful um, for the right hand side of the frame is just clearing this wall here uh, therefore getting the rocks on the left and the rocks on the right and the lighthouse itself oh, it's a beautiful lighthouse just look at that it's absolutely stunning now um, I'm tempted to stay the night here you know we can stay the night close by and come back for a sunset but look at that sky it's going to be a very bright uh, sun when it goes down it'll cast some nice warm light but there's little else that a sunset shot here will grant me so I think I'm gonna leave it at that again what I'll do is I'll shoot uh, infrared and a color photograph I put the two of them up and we'll compare them um, so hopefully that's the last lighthouse uh, of the trip um, we're moving on now um, uh, eastwards along the southern coast of Brittany maybe towards the Crozon Peninsula the Gulf of Mordebon and then we may circle back up towards Mont Saint-Michel 